Welcome back to Live on Bowen. Now to a man who tackles the big ideas but has a hard time wrestling them to the floor. It's Michael Connell. Hey. Uh, Shakespeare said, nothing is either good or evil, but thinking makes it so. And he wrote that when people regularly died of syphilis. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I always think about this when I catch the train in Melbourne, right? Because when you catch the train in Melbourne, they always make those announcements from the platform. They're like, Psh. in peak hour, trains leave every 15 minutes. And people are on the platform go, no, oh, no, oh, why isn't it 10? <laughs> right? Like, I think they should change it. Right? Instead of going, Psh. in peak hour, trains leave every 15 minutes, they should be going, Psh. in parts of India, trains leave every two days. <laughs> Then people would be like, wow, this train's 47 hours early. <laughs> this is great. Right? And they do this with, I used to change all their ads. Like they do other ads, they go like, you know, we're trying to keep the trains clean. And they always kind of smell like urine. Uh, or they're going, hey, we're trying to keep the train on time. And it's always like five minutes late. No, what they should do is they should make every ad go, hey, every train is going to be an hour late and smell like rotting meat. <laughs> then you get on the train like, hey, this is better than I expected. <laughs> I can barely smell the urine. <laughs> this train's great. Right, they always make apologies on the trains as well. Right, like when a train's delayed, they're like, the 715 to Dandenong has been delayed by five minutes. We apologize for it. And everyone's like, oh, no, that's terrible. Right? <laughs> what they should do is they should go, there's children starving in Africa. There's wars in the Middle East. And the 715 to Dandenong has been delayed. <laughs> if you're upset about the train, you're a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> it's your perspective that matters, right? Right, they, they should, like, that, the apologising doesn't make people feel any better. They should just be honest with it. They should just be on there going, the 715 to Dandenong has been delayed by five minutes. What are you going to do? <laughs> what? Yeah, nothing. That's what I thought. What, you're going to walk to Danny Nong? I don't think so. You're lucky to have a train at all. Right? See, it's not the thing. It's not what happens that matters. It's what you think about what happens that makes you feel one way or the other. Right? Like, I always, I, when I'm on the train, like, I always think of this. Like, the train is late. Five minutes late, that's a fact. Whether it's good or bad the train's five minutes late, that's up to you, right? You'll think it's bad if you're waiting on the platform trying to get home to see the start of MasterChef. <laughs> it's good if you've just fallen on the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> the 715 to Danny Nong has been delayed by five minutes. Oh, thank goodness! <laughs> oh, what a... <laughs> and I even, like, I, it's hard to remember this. Like, I forget this sometimes, right? Like, even I, sometimes I go, oh, late trains make me angry. Late tra but late trains don't make me angry. I'm only angry when I'm catching a train trying to go somewhere, right? If late trains made me angry, like there's late trains all the time, right? If late trains made me angry, I'd be just like sitting at home sometime, <laughs> watching TV, just like, oh, <laughs> fists clenching, <laughs> head throbbing, oh, the 4.45 to Knox is slightly late. <laughs> oh, it's it. Right. The point is, how you think affects how you feel. And when you realise this, you can, you can choose to, be, to feel however you want. You can be happy no matter what happens. When you're being tortured, or if you're in prison, or if you're being robbed, or something happens. Look, the point I'm trying to say is, after the show tonight, if you're not happy, that's your choice. <laughs> Michael Cuddle, ladies and gentlemen.